Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we will use Analyze Mode to graph and inspect the signals from your system. During this tutorial we will be using a default system with an added sign component. If you're not sure about how to create a system with a sign component, then please refer to the previous tutorial on how to create a system. For simplicity we will deploy to the local machine using the loopback interface. So we need to set this in the configuration, and then pick the appropriate build kit for our operating system. After setting up the deployment options, we will add another sign component so that we have more signals to graph. We will configure this sign component so that it has a different frequency than the standard one. Now we just need to run and connect to the system. When we are connected to the system, we enter the Analyze mode. In Analyze mode, we select the component which we want to graph. In our case, this will be the standard sign component. With the sign component selected, we go down to the resource pane and expand its signals. Under Signals, we will grab the output signal and drop it onto the graph. If you want to remove a signal from a graph, you can right click it and click Remove. We can now see the sign component getting graphed. We will also add a graph for our modified sign component. Then we can compare the different signals. By clicking this button, the plots will be automatically adjusted to fit the viewport. You can also click the different axes and use your scroll wheel to zoom. Notice that the numbers on the selected axis will turn blue. Zooming on the time axis will affect both plots. This is so that you can more easily spot correlations between your signals. You can also pan across the graph by first selecting an axis and then click dragging the graph. When you do this, the graphing will be paused. To resume or pause the graphing, you can click this button. We will now add another tab. You do this by simply clicking the little plus sign next to tab. In this tab we will add both signals to one graph. Since both signals are between minus 1 and 1, we don't need to worry about them needing different resolutions in the y-axis. Here we can easily see the relationship between the two plots. Holding control while dragging the mouse over the graph will allow you to box zoom. This is a useful feature that will allow you to get zoomed into the right place quickly. All of the zooming and panning you do to the graph can be undone by right-clicking onto the graph. The undo function uses a queue. Therefore, you will be able to undo most of the changes you make. The tabs are also detachable. This can be a useful feature if you want to analyze the signals while configuring or while doing something else. We are going to change the frequency of the sign component while the graph is running in a separate window. Notice how the curve gets smoother. You can also add signals to plots using the context menu. This allows you to plot signals while in configure mode. Reattaching is quite simple. You just click reattach at the top of the graph window. This was all for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.